Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sonia. This is my friend, <laughs> Smirny. I was not ready. <laughs> Basically, the plan is is that we're gonna go to the supermarket now to buy some kind of a cake mix, whether that's brownie or like cake or like cupcake or something, because that's what we wanna do. We wanna do some baking. We're also gonna be kind of talking about the experience that we've had in boarding school, because if you don't know us, we obviously live in Tanzania, but me, Smurdy, and a bunch of our other friends from Tanzania actually moved to the UK and went to boarding school, including my younger sister. We obviously swam there as athletes, but we also have our own boarding school experience so that's what we're gonna be talking about we are waiting for our uber and our uber it's five star ride hi cutie prince come here hi we have uber here however not only could you get like a normal car uber but you can also get a bajaj uber or you can call it tuk tuk however you prefer so we are currently waiting for on the street our tuk tuk uber to arrive <laughs> To take us to the supermarket so that we can buy yeah, some box mix. So that we can buy some box mix because okay, we debated doing it from scratch. She was like, yeah, we should do it from scratch. We should do it from scratch. We could do it from scratch if we wanted to. But we could also buy a box mix. <laughs> so have you ordered it? Yeah. Is that it? Is it going the wrong direction? <laughs> Why are you so excited for it to be going the wrong direction? So the tuk-tuk that I saw going the wrong direction is actually the one that we're meant to be going on. And Smriti is calling and gonna speak her Swahili. Hello? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm Oh, we got it here. So here it says that the retail price is three quid, but then you actually buy it for like almost 24,000, which is like seven pounds if you convert it. I think this is the winner. Had the brownie mix and some eggs. The goods are secured and we're waiting for the Bajaj to take us back home and we'll see you at home. Right guys, we're back. And Smriti has arranged this in a just in a very, very wonderful, cute little way. Okay, so we have our brownie mix. Um, this isn't really a cook with me. We're just doing this so that we have something to do while we're filming. So the first question is, what was the reason that we went to boarding school? Like what made us decide that we were gonna go? So the reason why I went there was because we were swimming and I was swimming and I remember I went to a competition in Qatar and people were just really good and I was not really good and I wanted to be better so I told myself that I was going to move to England. I think that if it wasn't for swimming I would never have moved and I would have probably stayed um, in Tanzania until I graduated. What about you Smirty? Uh, pretty much the same I think. The only difference would be that I always sort of looked up to Sonia with swimming. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, and so I was like, oh my god, she's doing so well, and I want to be just like her. Fan behavior, but <laughs> my friend was also moving to the same school as you, and our friend, our mutual yeah. friend, and I decided that I was going to move with her. There was like a whole you. gang of like Tanzanians. The joint after me. Yeah. Fan started it. Yeah. Fan behavior. We started it. And we were all swimmers. I don't think there was anyone from Tanzania who came there who was not swimming. So it was it's literally the reason for being there was swimming, to be honest. We're, we're doing the egg straight in there. We're not going to put it in like a safety bowl. For me to get a safety bowl. <laughs> okay, well, Smiriko gets a safety bowl for the eggs because I don't trust myself breaking the egg straight into that big bowl. The next question is, what was it like and was it what you expected? The first time I saw that school was when I was moving into that school. So I had not seen that school prior. The only like idea I have of English boarding school is what I saw on TV from Tanzania. Wow, child. It was not what I was expecting. Like some parts were and some parts were not. I will say what was not, it wasn't as bougie as I thought it was going to be. Kind of a relief. Which was, oh, why? I was worried that I wasn't bougie now. I remember when I first went there because I was coming from Tanzania, people were asking me like really weird questions. Like if I live like amongst the animals, like what animal do I take? Like, do we have Wi-Fi? Do we have Wi-Fi? Like is your house Do I know what a 
photos or like if your is your house made out of mud it was more like the people at the school who didn't who didn't know us or like what to expect from us rather than what we expected from them yeah that makes sense okay smirty's the mom over there and i'm just like so the next question is how was it structured and what was the schedule like that's another thing that took me by surprise actually is that the days are so much longer there like the school days compared to like the school in tanzania schools in tanzania end like max at 2 30 like if you don't have any activities but in england we went to like 5 p.m and because we were in the boarding house as well even when we went back to the boarding house there was still a schedule we had to follow in the boarding house like when to go for dinner when to do your homework when to be in your rooms when lights are off because we were also swimming within our normal schedule had to have a whole swimming schedule which was like 18 hours worth of training put into a normal school week schedule how did you find being an international student and then also being an athlete i think being an international student wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be i think it was hard for me specifically because i'd never moved schools before and so it's a little bit hard for me to make friends i thought people were I thought um, people were a lot nicer <laughs> than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie though, when I first went there though, like the culture shock was insane for me. Like I liked the people in my year, but it took me a while to get into like a friendship. And on top of that, in my whole time at the school for four years, I was mostly or had the closest relationships with people who are also international. So like even though I had some good English friends, most of my closest friends were either my friends from Tanzania who joined or there were like other international students at the school as well. It was a little different for me. I think I had some really good English friends um, that really helped me, that took me in when it was like weekends away from the boarding house and I got to go and stay with them for a little bit of a break and their parents were also really lovely and took care of me. So That's ready. So what we're going to do now is... How do I do this? I use my actual hand. Yeah. What did we do in the weekends? We didn't do too much because we would swim on the Saturdays as well. And on most of the weekends, we actually had swimming competitions to go to. Yeah. When we did have a free weekend, I think we would sometimes go down to the town that was near the school. Boarding house, they also like did activities, activities for us. So every weekend there was an activity we could go to. Like whether it was like the cinema, whether it was like a theme park. There was like the shopping yeah, trips, coaster. Christmas trips. Yeah. You didn't have to go to them if you didn't want to. So if it was something that you didn't really feel like doing. I remember there was this one day where like they did like an archery activity and like I'm doing that. And then sometimes there was like interactive stuff between the different houses, so between the girls' yeah. house and the two boys' houses. What was your favorite part and what was your worst part? I would say my favorite part was making like good friends and just like the laugh. The yeah. laughing with the friends, the um, enjoying with your friends, these memories. And like we've made like a great friends. Like I've made for sure friends that like I will have forever. And I know that for a fact. So I think like for me, the best part was just meeting new people and like meeting the right people that like were became friends for me. Having fun with them while I was at school, but then also like now four years later, still meeting them and spending time with them and enjoying with them. I think my best part would probably be the same. Getting to hang out with some really good friends that you that we made mm -hmm. and getting closer to them and sort of even in the evenings you kind of whatever you did you did together. So yeah. even if we were swimming, we would swim together. Don't get me wrong, there were some interesting characters as well and people like that maybe we just didn't get on with or we didn't understand. But all in all, people were nice. They were <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the mixture is done and I've greased the pan, so now we're gonna put it inside. While we answer the last question, did you get homesick and how did you deal with it? The first day was a disaster. Like the first day of school, I remember overheating because of how many layers I had to have on because of the uniform. When you're in Tanzania, you only have a t-shirt, like a cotton t-shirt, like a polo t-shirt. And in England, I had a shirt, I had a jumper, I had a blazer, I had tights, I had a skirt, I had some like, you had to have black shoes, you had to have your hair tied. And I remember just being like so hot because I never 
had to like do daily life with that many like things on me. When I first came, my parents came with me and they stayed in the town nearby for a couple days. And when I first went, because I'm an only child and I'm kind of used to being, uh, you know, a little bit away from my parents, I traveled alone before. I was like, oh yeah, whatever, this is going to be super easy. But when they actually left the country and I was like, oh my God, they actually left me here. That's when I got a bit sad and luckily I had Sonia to, to help me and I was like sobbing with tears and she was like, it's fine, we're going to get through this together. And you're lucky because when I moved, like I didn't have someone like how she had me yeah so like I was struggling by myself like when I saw my mom walking away from me and she didn't turn around <laughs> you know how upset I got that she was like my mom actually leaving me here like she cannot be serious but she was but yeah that's why I because I went through that and then Smriti came and she was feeling that same way but because I had already been there a year and I already like started liking it already by then yeah. I knew that it was gonna be the same for her we've done this and we're gonna put it in the oven and we'll get back to you once it's ready so it is about maybe even an hour later we cooked it for 20 minutes and this is what it looks like and then we're gonna cut it and try it while answering two last questions what advice would you give to someone going to boarding school my advice will be that it gets better like i know when you go there it's scary or even the thought about it is scary and this i think actually works for university as well but it does get better like the longer you're there the more people you meet the more you get used to like this the new situation the new living style the better it will become i think my advice would probably be to live in the moment try not to like live as if you're counting down the days when you can go home things like that or when you can leave because i guarantee you you'll miss it you'll miss memories that you could have made so live in the moment as much as you can if you have like a bad day or you have a day where you're like feeling more homesick that's okay and those days are gonna come you just have to get past it it does get better okay so we're gonna try <laughs> good could be better mm. it ain't the fudgiest thing i've ever had mm. taste is there yeah taste is there it is a box <laughs> last question is would we do it again and i think we both agree in this and say yes we yeah. would do it again 100 yeah. percent. even though like i always wonder what my life would be if i didn't do it i also can't imagine my life without it we knew each other from before which is why we like obviously knew each other when we got to school but we became a lot closer when we were in boarding school going through the same things swimming wise school wise like family wise life wise, life -wise. <laughs> like, the whole life the whole thing so yeah we would do it again and we had fun looking back at it hers was cut short because of covid, COVID. but apart from that it was pretty good so thank you guys very much for watching. for watching and i'll see you in the next video like and subscribe yeah <laughs>